Hi, and welcome to the second instalment of Wagtail Wednesday. This week, we're going to be talking through customising features within a rich text field, and why it's important to provide content editors the right tools for the job. So here we have a basic page in which we've added three editors. The first one is just the default editor you get when you add a rich text field to your model. This second one here has every currently available feature in Wagtail 2.0 enabled. The only difference between this and the default are three additional header block styles. Our final editor is currently the same as our default one. This is just where we'll be adding and removing features throughout the course of this video. Before we move on to how we customise which features are available, let's just quickly take a look at our complete editor and go through what each feature does. Firstly, we have the basic inline styles, bold and italic. After that, we have a few different block type styles with starting headers one to six. The last two block styles we have here are unordered and ordered lists. The next two features are just utility. The first creates a horizontal rule and the second creates line breaks. The next group of four are entity features. These include the image chooser feature where you can choose from existing images or upload a new one, the insert embed feature which allows you to add a URL for embeddable content such as a YouTube video, the insert link feature which allows you to select an internal page, type an external link or add a mail to email link. And finally, there's a document choose feature, which works pretty much the same way as the image chooser. These last two on the end here are just undo and redo and work how you would expect. One thing to note is that when we customise the features in our editor, the line break, undo and redo features will still appear, as these are always present and aren't configurable with the technique that we'll be showing off in this video. So let's take a look at how we can customise the features in our editor. If we look in our models.py file, we can see the rich text field for our custom editor defined here. To override the default features, we simply add features to the list of keyword arguments in the rich text field invocation and pass in a list of strings that represent the features we want to add. So let's just add bold and h2 to our list for now. If we go back and refresh our page, we'll see that it now only contains the two that we specified in our model, plus the line break and undo redo buttons. We've done things a little differently with our complete editor. If we take a look at it, you can see that we've passed in a variable called all rich text features. That variable is imported here from our base.py file. Looking at our base.py file, we have the all rich text features list defined here at the bottom, which is just created from the amalgamation of the lists above. We separated out the features into these separate lists here, just so that you could see the different types of feature, such as inline, block level, entity, and then we have HR on its own, which we've just called a utility feature. Let's create a new list, which we'll just call our list and let's add h2, h4 and bold to it. Back in models.py, we need to add this to our import statement, up here. We can then pass this in as the value of our features argument for our custom editor's rich text field. If we go and refresh our page, we'll see the new list of features has taken effect as expected. Now, let's imagine that this list represents a set of features that we've set up to use in some of our editors across our site. We might want to just add or remove certain features from this list for one of our rich text fields without creating a new list. So let's have a look at how we could achieve that. The first technique we're going to show you is a way that we don't actually recommend for manipulating the list. We'll show you some issues that you're likely to run into with that method and after that, show you a way that's much more robust. Firstly, we want to create a copy of our list, which we'll call customised list. Because Python passes by reference by default, we'll need to import copy up at the top here and call copy.deepcopy and pass the rlist list into it. 
Now we have a perfect clone, which we can modify without modifying the original, in case we want to use that elsewhere in this model. Next, we can type customize list.append and then pass in the string representation of the feature that we'd like to add. Here we'll just add ol to enable the ordered list feature. Now we just need to paste customize list in place of our list in our rich text fields features argument. If we refresh our page, we should see that the ordered list has now become available. Now let's take a look at removing a feature. If we go to our base.py and choose one of these features to remove, we'll just do h2 for this example. In our models.py, we can type customized list dot remove and pass in the string h2. And then if we refresh our page, we'll see that it's been removed successfully. This is the first place that you can hit a bit of trouble with this approach. If we change this h2 to a feature we don't actually have in the R list list of features and then try and save, we will get a value error. You can see here in the terminal that we have a value error that says we tried to remove x where x didn't exist in the list. If you were intent on using this method, you could work around this by implementing a try catch block like this. We try to remove and catch any value error that might occur. If we do catch a value error, we simply pass, which essentially means we do nothing. Back in the terminal, the error has disappeared and everything is running okay. Now, you can imagine that if we wanted to append a lot of features, this could quickly become quite messy. One way to add multiple items to a list is to simply type custom list plus equals and then type a new list of all the features that you'd like to add. This is where we'll show you snag number two. It's actually possible to add multiple of the same item to a list like this H1 here. When we go into our page and refresh, we can see that we now have all the features we've added in, including multiple H1s. Now for the final issue that you can face using these techniques. If you try to remove several features in the same way by typing custom list minus equals, and then a list of features to remove, we'll get an error in our console. The console is telling us that this is an unsupported operand for lists in Python. So taking into account the various potential niggles with these methods, let's take a look at a more robust way. First, let's remove all of this. And then what we're going to do is turn custom list into a set which is a data type that consists of an unordered collection of unique and immutable objects. Already, by turning our list into a set, we've prevented any chance of duplicates. If we try to add multiples of the same value to a set, the duplicated are simply ignored and won't be appended. We can add one or multiple features to the set using the update method and pass in a list of the new entries we'd like to add. To remove one or multiple features, we can simply subtract a set of the features we'd like to remove from the current set. If we try to remove something that isn't there, we won't get an error, so no need to worry about handling that either. If we take a look at our page, we can see it's all working nicely. One thing that does look a bit strange is the order of some of these features. Luckily, there's an easy fix. In our model here, we just need to add one line where we call sorted and pass in our set. Our features should now be in a nice order on the page. The last thing we'd like to go over in this video is how to override Wagtail's own default set of features. 
This can be useful if you know you'll only ever want one set of features throughout the site and it'll save you having to pass anything through to your rich text fields invocation. In our base.py, we need to declare a wagtail admin rich text editors dictionary. Let's add the default key, which will hold two keys within it. Widget and options. In widget, we need to pass in the draft tail rich text area widget. This just tells wagtail we want our default editor to be draft tail. In options, we create a key called features and for the value, we simply enter a list of the features we want to be enabled by default for our rich text fields. We'll just add unordered list, ordered list and link in here to test it. After refreshing our page, we can see our default editor now has a different set of features. Thanks for watching our quick guide on how to customise features in rich text fields. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can also sign up to our mailing list for early access videos. The link for this is in the description below. We really want to make sure that the tutorials are useful for everyone. So if you have any ideas for future tutorial topics, follow the link in the description and send us your suggestions. Alternatively, you can comment on this video with your suggestions, as well as any other feedback or questions that you might have. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.